uh, sorry, I started. Okay, I will change you. Change you and show you screen. Okay. Okay, so we, I want to uh, focus on this. We, uh, we ah, okay. it. So, so is it, this is the equation for from all the exams, yes? Yes. And uh, we, we saw the solution, the, form, the formal solution, and we didn't understand. Uh, uh, okay. okay. So uh, just tell uh, loudly what, what is the, the question and what should we do? Okay, can you, may, may you tell it with voice? Again? If you, if you think that all the problems are in my head, you are mistaken. You, you should be explain, explain the problem and then maybe together we will try to, to think. So we, we, we have a function. And, mm -hmm. and we have a, uh, what's called conjugate function. Okay. Yes. And uh, let's uh, determine whether function is convex for the following cases, f of x. So you, you want me to solve? No way. <laughs> The solution the, the, in the formal solution, it was just a sentence that the maximum function is a point vice, and uh, therefore, since it's linear, it's a okay, okay, independent good. Of actually. Good. So you you gave us very good opening. Now I okay. can uh, start. Uh, just a second. I always forget. How can I uh, write something? There is a, you can annotate, use Can I try something? It's uh, somewhere in the bottom, yes? Where, where's this main menu? In, in more? No. There is a notation. On the top, it's on the top and it, it on says on like you're viewing, the, you're viewing the entire screen and then view options. You view view like options. That. Okay, yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I understand your question, and I think I may say a couple of words on this. Uh, okay. Say I have one variable x. Wow. Uh, I have a linear function. And I have one more linear function. And I have one more linear function. And I take ma uh, maximum of those. Okay, so I can change color, yes? Okay. And I take uh, maximum of those. Is this function convex? Yes. Okay. And the idea is that even I, I have infinitely many uh, such blue lines, linear functions. So my family of linear functions may be parameterized with continuous parameter. So I have not finally, but infinitely many of them. Still, uh, the maximum will be uh will be convex so uh, the general statement uh, maximum of any of any set of convex functions even if the set is infinite yes the maximum is uh, convex okay but what what if uh, we have a maximum over one linear function J uh, just second i i, I need break uh, technical break for five seconds. Michael, can I try how to play that? Well, 
מי שאל את השאלה? Of course, anybody who wants to help, it's good. You're always welcome. Ah, so the question is whether we may discover, so it's a function of y, yes? And for any fixed x, for any fixed x, this is a linear function of y, yes? F, f of x is just a number, yes? Yes. Okay, and uh, vector x is just a constant. It shows us slope of our linear function. So we have infinitely many uh, functions of y and, and uh, uh infinitely many functions of of y yes 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 okay i hope you got the idea or still yes i got the idea and this can be generalized to x vector and to uh, plan to planes so i i understand everything uh, okay. i hope that everyone uh, Okay. Uh, does understand this if, if if anybody has uh, questions or comments about this you can ask if not then uh, we will uh, you 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 can stop your sharing thank you okay pleasure uh, can i ask any other question yes so i have a question regarding uh, kkt conditions uh okay and door so yes. your question is about our basic list and you did you watch uh, two reception hours okay um honestly not okay but, uh, but okay. It's not, any, it's, any, any case I, I i will it's not mainly on a, a on I, 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 I will question do it. it's regarding the it's with a specific Okay, um, I, I, will, I will do exception for you. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, just uh, uh, just second. I, I will share. Uh, maybe it's good to, to share uh, the lecture slide. Let me share my screen. Okay. Please. You, you, you can, yes, it's automatic. Okay, I do it. Um, do you see my screen? Yes, we see. Okay. So it's regarding this question, question number three on spring 18, 2018. This one. Do you see, Michael? Okay. Yes. So, so um, yes. my question uh, regarding. Uh, the... Just a second. Let, let us together to understand the problem sure okay can uh, you explain a, it with two words yes yes of course so uh, it's um it looks like it looks like a linear programming problem so uh, maximize uh, in maximize y linear y, y, yes x is constant and uh, this is the constraint uh, under uh, it's called box constraint yes yes it's okay so uh, they ask if uh, the problem is convex. Okay, it's, it is, and uh, I rewrite the problem in the in the desired weight, in the desired form. Yeah. And then they then they write write KKT conditions for the minimization problem. Yes. But I remember that when we learned KKT conditions, you said that. Um, it's conditioned whether the gradients are uh, linearly independent or not. And here, uh, when I uh, developed it, I saw that the gradients of the uh, constraints are dependent. I will show you the uh, explicitly. Uh, uh, well, why second, I, why I, should, uh, I should immediately, I, I think I know where, where you are. 
this in which direction you are going yes exactly but pay attention gradient of active constraint yes but if I you don't have know, two sided constraints i don't know in advance who is active and who is not but uh, if you uh, once again if you have two sided constraints something mm -hmm. greater than some number or and less than other number uh, they cannot be active at the same time mm -hmm. makes sense okay so can, can, can you repeat why you said it uh, it is a convex problem because i mean it's just linear uh, Yes, linear is convex. Yeah. It's okay. Convex. No, it's, not, it's a linear function. It's not strictly convex, but it is convex. What's the definition, Mr. It's, it's target, target not, uh, it's linear and then it's convex? Linear function is convex. It's good to remember it towards the exam. Hessian yes. is, uh, is zero. Definition, so, definition of convex. linear function. Yes, uh, so I should start drawing again. Just a second. View options, annotate. So what is definition of convex functions for those who don't remember? So if I take straight line, so those internal points, uh, function should be uh, I, I I would say in in words linear greater or equal than f of x yes in the intermediate point pay attention that greater or equal so if my f of x is linear then uh, of course linear function is equal so it's convex okay okay good remember the word for example in the same manner it's concave right a linear okay, function yes yes but in this case it's important for us to know that it is convex. that linear programming is a convex optimization problem thank you okay so um can i always use kqt conditions just when when they ask write kqt conditions i always always can write them explicitly regarding the question. And I I just don't know how to, uh, you, how to take the gradients into con consideration. You you write down uh, KKT conditions, but you don't know which points, uh, which constraints are active. Maybe you assume from some considerations which are constraints are active or consider this as an option. So it's, Somebody should, uh, I should clear my drawings. I... Yeah, all drawings. No? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you decide which constraints you check for being active, then you write KKT conditions. Oh, you, yeah, yes, I guess. Saying honestly, I don't remember solution of this problem. Usually, assistants are much better than me in solving such stuff. But if anybody does know solution, so I, I, I really I don't ask the would solution. like you to discuss among yourself. Yeah, I just ask this uh, uh, this issue. It's not okay. the solution is is less interesting here. Um, okay. Good. Good. okay. Okay. So uh, previously, someone asked about Chebyshev approximation, and uh, I would love to. Uh... Okay, good. Uh, who, who, who? Uh, let, let's stop sharing. I will. And who was uh, asking about Chebyshev? It was me. Okay, Michael. Yes. Uh, and uh, maybe should I show lecture slides? Uh, okay. Yeah. Or you wanted to show something else? No, I have uh, I have a snapshot from the lecture slides. Okay, yeah. let 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 then let, let me go to the lecture slides. 
Michael, regarding this Chebyshev, we just wanted to ask if there is will be Chebyshev function approximation convex in the test. Just a second, just a second. Let, let, let's go there and then discuss. You know, for 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 me, like, like I told you a few times, I want a very large uncertainty before the exam because it's the best excuse to go to the material and discuss things. Uh, okay. okay. It, uh, just a second. It would be four examples. Uh, yes, no, after. Uh, where it is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So yes, what, exactly here. Uh, what uh, what is your question? So at the end of this uh, topic, you you wrote the that the Chebyshev approximation can be expressed as a linear optimization. What is uh, as linear uh, programming? Yes. That's linear programming, and we just need to provide what C, A, and B are. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So you, you have those double-sided constraints and so on. And it, I, I, I will tell you honestly, some so, uh, solvers uh, understand even this general form. But it's good uh, exercise to yeah yes I agree it's it's good it's very good so and what what uh, what is your question how to get there? Uh, yeah I, I actually tried to do so and I got to something but uh, because I didn't see any answer I don't know if, uh, what I did is uh, okay or not uh... Uh, like. First of all, our X, for example. Yes. Our X should be a vector of tau and all alphas, right? Yes. Or, yes. Okay. And then A is something, is some matrix that is uh, 2T by N plus one, like by the size of X. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it, it would be easier to do in two, in two stages. First of all, uh, think about one sided constraint, yes? Yes. And then extend to double sided. It's like se uh, separate very nice. Yes, problems. and then I but, just but you put would... them one on top of another and I get yeah. a big. A but big but you, you're trying to explain in the way that I'm afraid that other students do not understand much. Uh, do do you have anything to show us? Uh, I can I can uh, film it. It will take me. Uh, ah, you 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 need to any... take check. Oh, okay. Le, uh, yeah, so if use... anyone else wants to ask something, we, we can do it later. Yeah, or you you can do your picture, but we can go to other questions. Okay, but but uh, okay okay. okay. You you just wanted to validate that your your way. Yes, I wanted because I didn't see the the answer anywhere. I wanted to you, make you, sure you, that... you kind of uh, found solution yourself, but you wanted just to validate it. Yes. Okay. First of all, it's very Can you good. Please repeat the solution. I will. Uh, he, uh, I will, will uh, it in the, in this, the. This is uh, Michael. He. He will take a picture of his uh, notes and show it. So, so I stop share and uh, we, we can wait a minute. Uh, meantime, Michael, uh, can we ask about the Chebyshev function approximation in the test? Yes. There is a, a part in the Chebyshev function that we talked about complex, but only for a few minutes. Will it? Uh, uh, yes, will it yes, be yes. Uh, Thank you very much. And uh, I told even that you don't have to watch it. I don't remember whether it is on, uh, I, I think on Moodle, no, I pointed no. this. Yeah, so you, you don't, so uh, complex Chebyshev approximation 
is important, but it's a little bit too technical, so I don't uh, require from you to learn it. Only a real one. Thank you. Okay. Also, so, I have here the solution for the linear, if uh, Michael still wants it. Okay, I, uh, I can share my screen for my solution. I uh, just okay, so Michael already took stage. And they see it, and then we can discuss to, together. I, you know, I want to be not very active, I want other students to, to be more okay. Yes, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we do. So, this is the formulation of the problem. Uh, as we expressed in class, uh, there's a definition of vector H and this matrix phi, and this is the optimization, the uh, constraint optimization. I mean, tau over uh, with this uh, subject to this constraint. Mm -hmm. And then we want to express it as this problem, this linear programming. Uh -huh. So I denoted x as tau and the vector of alphas. Uh -huh. And then C transpose x should be tau. This is what we minimize. So C is just one and then a lot of zeros afterward. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So the objective is only tau? Yeah, you, yeah, we uh, want to minimize tau. This is the definition of the Chebyshev approximation. What is tau? Can you remind? It's an auxiliary uh, um, oh. variable that should be. You you uh, you, you you can remind with um, maybe I, I I will try to. Help you again. It's the value of the function above in the epigraph or something like this? Yes, yes, yes. It's uh, like what we use usually for maximum of uh, several functions. We minimize okay. tau subject to tau greater or equal than every function. Yes. So go. Okay. So then, as you suggested earlier, I, I split it to two cases. Uh, one take uh, this part of the inequivalent like h minus phi alpha is less than tau mm -hmm. so phi alpha plus tau is greater than h so my a plus func uh, matrix is ones to take care for the tau part and then phi which will multiply alpha Something okay, like so a phi, phi alpha, phi alpha plus tau plus tau, yes, yes. So my minus is, is like multiplication of this large matrix A on the vector. Is everybody with you, with uh, Michael, with this uh, conversion? You 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 have in. Uh, Oh, it be the ones be divided by the length of the vector so we get when we sum everything we get tau or am i off here um, so you you have not not tau i i would say tau is like a vector uh, tau is vector of tau yes or it's like tau here. multiplied by vector of ones uh, what, what is the same by, by the way it's it's even more convenient with what you wrote, yes? Because in A, if you scroll a little bit down, your, your A, yes. Your A has column of ones and multiplied by tau, which is in the uh, highest position in the vector X, it just to take this column multiplied by tau, yes? Yes. Well, one should uh, remember, uh, a way to multiply matrix by vectors. Not everybody keep it active, I am afraid. I, let, let me put annotation. Uh, uh, Gilbert Strang in the MIT is an excellent lecture 
and I warmly recommend to everybody Gilbert Gilbert Schrank MIT. Uh, yeah, there is even a reference in, on my homepage. Uh, he has uh, the best in the world course of linear algebra. Really, the best world best course of linear algebra. Very intuitive and very deep. So, and uh, I actually I knew this stuff be, be, before him. I knew every, every many people knows, but I really like to you to use it. If I have a matrix uh, with many columns, uh, so I, I will call it A1, A2, columns of my matrix, and so, so on, and multiply by vector x1, x2, and, and so on. We don't learn it in standard representation, but it's very trivial and very useful. It's x1 multiplied by column a1, yes? Plus x2 multiplied by column a2. And if you, uh, and, and so on. And if you look in this way, you immediately understand that if you multiply this matrix by a vector which uh, tau and something else, so this column will be multiplied by tau. So you will really get tau multiplied by a column of one. Okay. I, I hope uh, that everybody knows this. Yes. I don't see any replies. Uh, was uh, my explanation too trivial or useful for somebody? Yes, yes, I actually did this before. Right. So it's okay what I did. It's it's uh, it it was a little bit useful, uh, so, uh, somehow useful. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Then I should clear my drawings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, this is one side, and then you have uh, another side. Yes. Yes, and then I have another side, and to sum it all up, it looks something like this. You you have high matrix, uh, which you multiply by your x and get here. Thank you very much. It's, it's, okay, it's so, nice so it's... And it's right. I, I it's good if you invented such things. People use uh, I don't know in basis pursuit and some other in some application areas. Did, did you invent this yourself or you just so I, I know uh, homogeneous coordinates so so uh, so it's something like this uh, well what does it mean homogeneous coordinates from, from which area of so, uh, from a projection of uh, like on of a world on a camera sensor okay so from 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 vision yes okay thank you very much thank you very much okay. oh, stop the share I stop share oh we, we have very interesting nice meeting so any other question <coughs> i have a question about the structure of the exam mm -hmm. uh I'm just starting to study uh, until the exam, like from today, and I'm wondering if you can uh, focus me on like which uh, subjects do you think we should focus. Ah, on? You, you, we, we are really playing a mini max game. I, I am exactly. playing, I am playing for your long term future, and you, you are playing for your short term survival. <laughs> I'm playing for both, <laughs> uh, because for long term, and uh, th this is my major go goal for, for for exam, for you to go through my material. First of all, learn those uh, forty pl plus qu questions. The first thing is, uh, I maybe turn on my camera. Uh, 
uh, is uh, to watch uh, basic YouTube videos or Coursera or on Coursera and watch our Zoom meetings and everything, uh, understand everything. The, the, this uh, will be the major contribution to your long term knowledge and believe me this will be very good contribution to your performance on the exam this is the only thing i can tell you okay thank you yes. <clears throat> okay something else interesting uh, question yeah. When we studied strong duality in quantum programming, we have seen a connection between KKT conditions and <coughs> strong duality. And we have seen a proof. But uh, I didn't quite understand what was the aim of, uh, of that proof. Like we, we already know that at the optimum, KKT conditions must be fulfilled. Did we prove that KKT conditions are sufficient in order to show that strong duality holds or what, what was the aim? Yes, the aim? It, it was just a nice ec exercise because uh, quite often it's uh, not very practical. If you uh, solve a concrete problem, uh, mm -hmm. often you don't know that uh, your gradient of active constraints are linearly independent so uh, that's why uh, slater condition which is uh, rather technical to prove but it is much stronger and much easier to check yes with slater no, condition you just validate that you have any point that is strictly feasible in uh, non-linear constraints yes and in linear constraints, you even don't have this uh, requirement. If you oh, yes. have uh, uh, linear constraints, it's uh, enough that they are satisfied. You you don't have requirement that they are linearly independent and so on. Uh, no. I, 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 let, let, let me put it in better way. To check with a strong convexity holds, you need uh, to validate that only nonlinear constraints are strictly satisfied in some point. And uh, at that point, linear constraints may be just satisfied. They don't have to be strictly satisfied. Yes, but I was referring to the case of conic programming. Uh, in, in conic programming, it's, uh, again, we, we don't learn strong duality in depth. We just say by hand waving if there is an, uh, 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 a point which belongs to interior of the con, something like this. Okay. Yeah. We, we, with conic programming, we don't go in depth. We, we just give you some uh, uh, some uh, first knowledge to, to be able to read the literature. It's a rather significant knowledge to make you able to advance in this nice area or to to read paper if you find in in your in your area in your applications. Yes, uh, but definitely it's a very deep. And uh, if, if you want to explore conic programming, the also course of Stephen Boyd, uh, also even much more advanced course in the, of uh, Arkady Nemirovsky. He, he was in the Technion and now he's in uh, Georgia Tech, but there are 700 slides about uh, convex optimization and many of them, many of them are about conic programming. Thank you. Yes. What if I have a concave function and I want to minimize it uh, on some on some uh, with some constraints? 
Oh, minimizing concave functions, it's a very delicate uh, area. The, the, the particular cases, very interesting. If you have a quadratic concave function and single quadratic convex constraint, then uh, the problem is uh, nicely solvable and have many interesting applications. But do we have the tools to solve them today? Uh, can, can we transform uh, it to something more? And uh, once again, if you have a if you have a practical problem of this type, uh, there is a professor Aaron Bental in uh, industrial engineering in Technion. He is very strong uh, mathematician and he has very nice results in optimizations, many of them together with Arkady Nemirovsky. And what I know for, from him that he is exploring now, now in recent, very recent years, in I don't know, two, three recent years, he's act uh, actively exploring this kind of problems. So you, I warmly recommend you to ask him. He, <laughs> might, he might be glad. I'm asking because I saw it in an exam. <laughs> oh, one, one question. In, in I exam, think, I think. In, in exam, if you have concave pr problem, you may only be asked about to check some uh, local minimum, whether it is a, whether it is a local solution, yes? Or what maybe is the, it's on the edges of the constraints. Yeah, and yeah, then, and then... yeah, so maybe, yes, if you have only several points, very simple situation, then you can count on, uh, Sometimes there are simple situations, yes. And you just can check se several candidates for solution and just compare to check whether KKT condition holds there and compare <laughs> in which of them function value is better. Mm -hmm. And say this one is the best one. Okay. Please. Okay. Ask the question. Yes. What are the cases in which uh, quadratic interpolation and cubic interpolation may fail? Um, it's a good question. Let, let, let the picture will help me. Well, I'm uh, my slides. Um, um, there may be situations when your function is uh, very nonlinear. And you are staying in some point, and you have uh, function values in those several points. And the quadratic model just will, will not move you away. It will say that minimum of quadratic model is also very close to where you are, despite that the real minimum is far, far away. And uh, for this purpose, uh, people use this uh, sa safeguard. If they see that for one or few steps, the progress, and how do we measure pro 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 uh, progress? How fast our uncertainty interval is uh, shrinking? We, we know that with uh, bisection, it's shrinking twice uh, at every step. With golden section, it's shrinking a little bit slower, but also rather significantly. And if you get stuck, and if your quadratic model, nobody guarantees if function is very nonlinear that your quadratic model is good. Doesn't give you progress. That safeguarding is very nice and very strong 
way to get out of this situation. Is, is this answer to your question or I don't know? Uh, yes, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. More, more questions. Okay, so don't hear more voices. I stop share first of all. And uh, yes, I wish you productive work. I hope you will have some time to learn a, li a little bit more about optimization. And be prepared. The, the exam is uh, at 5 p.m., yes, on, uh, on, uh, on, on Tau. Thursday. Huh? On Tau, right? Tau. Yes, in Taub. Um, yes. Um, okay, the question about barrier method, go, go, go ahead. When should we use it? Um, Instead of a, a regular penalty. Yes, uh, the, I, I think I comment a little bit in the lecture. The, there are two situations. First, uh, it, it may happen that your, your objective function and, and some constraints are not well defined out of feasible area. So it will be just difficult for you to provide numerically anything if you will be out of it. And so by using the barrier method, uh, solve it. Okay, uh, le le let me continue with it. Advantages of barrier method, and then get back to penalty. And uh, another advantage of barrier method, especially for linear programming and for general uh, conic programming, quadratic conic and semi-definite, uh, that there are very well established primal dual barrier methods, uh, which are have polynomial type uh, complexity and are uh, very good on the on the other hand the, there is a, another family of methods which called augmented lagrangians which have their own area and uh, quite often for nonlinear program problem you may discover that barrier function is uh, difficult for newton method to minimize them uh, penalty B uh, better especially if you have uh, Lagrange mul multiplier and one more thing uh, this leads to <coughs> a DMM uh, alternating the direction method of mul mul multipliers which showed to be a very uh, efficient on very many practical problems and we have this uh, nice lectures and uh, over a new paper of Stephen Boyd on this uh, topic. So th this is not barrier method. This is a penalty mul multiplier method, but it's very good. So one needs to study and to, if, if you are able to, if, you are pro if your problem is not very large and you are able to reformulate it as a conic programming, linear, quadratic, or semi-definite, and use uh, standard uh, solver. Uh, uh, how it's called this system? Uh, does anybody remember of uh, Steve, uh, Stephen Boynt and uh, collaborators, uh, which uh, universally solves uh, conic programming for pro CVX? C uh, CVX is very important system, which has a very nice MATLAB interface. <clears throat> and if your problem is not very large, mean up to thousand or very few thousand variables, 
this may be the best way to go the best way to go but if you have very large problems uh, there are more more, more for investigation okay please okay so we finished uh, once again it was not on the on the record and now for the record i wish uh, all students uh, productive preparation productive learning optimization and preparation for the exam which is uh, in, in my view the same go for this basic list of questions go for lecture and for our zoom meetings and try solve all problems which were during semester and then maybe maybe more but first of all work hard on on this okay so good luck uh, yes yes okay I uh, want for a second. I I I, I would ask a question. What, what what would I recommend for students who uh, who pass through all, all the basic parts that we recommended and all problems of previous years and exercises? Then I would uh, recommend to open exercises of uh, convex optimization of Stephen Boyd and uh, Nocidal and Wright numerical optimization. I also <coughs> hear that they have nice exercises here. I don't know. As, as yeah. optimization. בבעיות אופטימיזציה קשורות לחומר של הקורס שלנו. יו, 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 יו. טוב, משהו ממש כאילו כנראה בסיסי, אבל נכון ש... או you can talk in Hebrew, but I can translate, or you can talk in English, up to you. אוקיי, אני אדבר בעברית. אה, בסדר. You can talk in Hebrew, and I will talk. נכון היה לנו את האיור הזה בהקשר של הג'וינט של קומפיטיישנל גרף? וזה היה התרשם הנוסף. כן, אז רציתי לשאול פשוט אם ה-Y, Y גל ו-Y הם אותו דבר בעצם ו-X? לא, לא, Oh. it's it's good question you 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 are asking whether y tilde and x tilde it's the same as y and x uh, no 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 they then not the same at, at all the computational graph <coughs> uh, just a second and an, 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 annotate uh, the computational graph itself is interesting for for us because if you if you put any vector on entrance here on the exit you will uh, get product of this vector with a joint operator so it's any vector may be here and the, the same on on the on the first for the direct operator This is a nice thing about this. Thank you very much and thank you again. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the 5th or you won't come back. Thank you very much.